Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to survive your college semester just because of my semester was catastrophic. But this is just some advice and some tips that worked out for me this past semester. So if you would like to know how to survive your semester, please keep watching. So, some of the things that you will definitely be needing is this baby right here and this baby right here. So this is basically a caffeine and a planner just because these were my best friends this past semester. Um, I was never a caffeine person, um, but I'm not telling you guys to go and like drink caffeine every single day. And that's not my point here. My point is I needed something to live on these, this past semester just because I took seven classes, you guys. I know that's crazy, but I really wanted to challenge myself, so I did, and I took the seven classes. And um, yeah, I ended up with all A's and B's, which was amazing. But um, I'm just gonna tell you guys like a little bit of like what happened during my semester, just because it was insane, and I don't even know how I made it. But let's start with a little story time. Um, so some of the things that happened to me this semester is, uh, first of all, I was sitting at Starbucks. Shout out to Starbucks for literally saving my life the entire semester. That was literally my lifeline was Starbucks. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed because I like would go to the same Starbucks every single day. I could not live my day without my coffee, my Starbucks coffee. So I'm sorry to the people at Starbucks who had to see me every single day, but I'm pretty sure they knew like my name and my order by now. But I was sitting at Starbucks one day writing a paper and I reached over for something on my backpack and I was on my laptop, okay, I was typing on my laptop and I reached over and my coffee, I had a nice caramel macchiato sitting right next to my laptop. So I reached over to my backpack and when I pulled back up, my coffee tipped over onto my laptop and the lid cracked open and spilled over my laptop and I was literally in shock just because I didn't know what to do with my laptop so I immediately flipped it over and I was like, oh my god, what do I do? I called my fiance, I called anyone I could. I called my cousin because he's like a tech genius, but pretty much all I did was flip it over and I went to class like that and I remember everyone was like, oh my god, like what happened to your laptop? And I was so dead, like I didn't even know what, what to think. All my stuff was in there, finals were coming like in two weeks and I was like, holy crap, what do I do? But Luckily, my cousin is a genius. Shout out to him for literally saving my life. I took it to his house and he cleaned it out, but I made an appointment with Apple actually the same day in the evening. And he was like, just bring it to my house and I'll see if I can fix it. So he pretty much checked out what he could and he was like, take it to Apple, see what they say. And if you, know, you don't agree with what they tell you, then just bring it back to me. So they basically told me that my computer wasn't going to work anymore and I needed to completely reassemble it. So that was going to cost me $750 and I didn't have that kind of money. I'm a student, I have to pay for, for textbooks, I have to pay for all these stuff, all this stuff. So I basically told Apple no. I had to go back to my cousin and he was like, we can try and fix it. We literally went to Best Buy Fries and like a computer repair store by his house just to find like some parts that he thought he was going to need. And we ended up not finding anything because they said that the MacBook Air was had some like unique parts and they don't sell them like in the stores so he went home and he was like last resort we can do is clean out every single part of my laptop so he literally sat there until I think like 1 30 or 2 a.m. at my house cleaning the entire laptop and around I think 2 a.m. my computer came back to life so thank you so much to him for literally saving my life and my work and my grades I would have died without all that stuff but just letting you know guys your computer can be fixed if it drowns in coffee, water, juice, whatever it is. Um, at first it didn't really work, like the battery didn't work on itself, it, it had to um, work on the charger only, but um, we just swapped out the charger, I mean the battery with another one that we bought online and it actually came back to life. It's, it's running perfectly now, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so far, I, I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, so that was one thing that happened to me this semester. A second thing is some of my assignments didn't like go through. Um, I used we used to turn it in at SDSU, and we probably get to do too. But um, 
Yeah, so one of my, a few of my assignments didn't go through my papers, like one of the biggest papers of the semester, I'd have to say, didn't go through on Turnitin, and I was literally freaking out, and I emailed my professor, and of course they were like, well, what can we do? I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? Because I wrote it. But eventually it worked out, but I was like in chaos for a few days trying to get that worked out. And I think throughout all that, my cat got sick, so we were taking her to the vet back and forth. Um, it took her like a week to get better, and I was really paranoid, and we were scared. And throughout that, I had like my modeling uh, jobs in LA, so I was like back and forth between LA. And it was just crazy. It was seriously a challenge. Um, I thought I was just challenging myself in like coursework, but I was challenging myself in like life and everything. But just a few things that I would recommend to you guys. Um, this is just advice that worked for me. You don't have to follow what I say. You don't have to believe me. But this is just some some of the things that worked out for me, especially with seven classes. I think I needed to really change like my curriculum up. But first thing I would say um, is definitely time management just because you need to be able to manage your time, your assignments, and what needs to get done first. That's why I said you guys really need a planner just because my planner was literally my everything this semester. I wrote out every single day what I had to do. If I had a paper that was due in a week, I would do like write page one on Monday, write page two on Tuesday, and stuff like that. So I would just basically do that for the rest of the week. If I had an exam, I would be like write, um, read chapter one for this assignment, read chapter two on Tuesday, chapter three on Wednesday until it was, you know, um, exam day. That's basically how I made it through finals too. Um, I'm a visual person, so. I know that my study time takes a while, which is why I lay out my assignments that way, just because I know I have to like read things again, I have to write things out to memorize them. But you know, you guys, I'm sure you guys all have your own study, you know, methods, but that's just mine. I'm a visual person. Unfortunately, it's like double the work for me, but it works. Um, I would also say organization. Organize the stuff you have to do outside of school and your assignments at the same time. Um, I had a lot going on in LA and you know pageant stuff, modeling stuff and I had to really time myself out to where if I had an event let's say on Friday and I had to drive up to LA that Friday morning I would make sure that all my assignments were done on Thursday so that I wouldn't have to worry about coming home like at midnight and doing, doing it then. Um, I know I also had the weekend but I had a lot of my events on the weekend so I usually like to make sure that everything's done like the Thursday before or whenever the day the event is. As long as it's done the day before, I should be okay. I don't like worrying about um, I don't like worrying about the assignments or stuff that I have to do. So I usually get it out of the way um, and done. So I recommend that to you guys because it'll make you feel so much more like free and stress like stress free. Um, also, the caffeine, just because that's how I lived my life. <laughs> for this whole semester without the caffeine, I don't know how I would have survived. So caffeine, I literally joke about this to like my family and my friends, like college literally made me like a caffeine addict. And I don't mean that in a bad way because now obviously I'm on, I'm on break, on summer break, and I drink less coffee now, but I still miss it. But um, that's how I started my day. Every single day was like a cup of coffee. If you know you are a person that needs caffeine every single morning and every single day, I recommend getting up a little bit earlier like if you have morning classes I recommend getting maybe like an hour early just to go get your coffee and then settle yourself I commute so I usually leave like an hour early just to be able to get my coffee and you know be comfortable and calm I don't like to like rush even though that's like me half of the time but um, yeah so I would re really recommend doing that also let's see what else um, talking to professors and advisors just because I didn't do this for a long time. My freshman year was pretty rough. Um, I'm in my junior year. Well, I just finished my junior year, so I'm going into my senior year. And it took me all of freshman year to realize that you really need to speak to your professors and your advisors just because they are the ones that are going to guide you. Um, I didn't do that the whole year, and I was so lost. But I started going to you know the advisors and speaking to professors and. You find that once you're able to speak to your professors and kind of connect with them, they realize that you really do care about your grade. So they'll eventually kind of get to know you a little bit better and know your work ethic. 
and maybe you're like a percent behind and um, you know from that A or from that B and they know you and they know that you're a good student so they'll most likely give you that percent you never know when you can build that strong connection where they know that you're a good student but if for some reason you know you're that one little percent off of that next grade they might be able to bump that up for you some professors are you know giving like that and they're generous and some aren't so I usually like to build a connection with my professors also go to the advisors and kind of plan out the rest of my school I know we have like personal maps at SDSU but I like to go to the advisors just so they can guide me on what I have left what I still need to do what I've already done with um, that usually map it all out for me I like to um, organize my semester um, my next semester prior to the one that's ending so I usually go to the advisors I map out my entire next semester basically pick out the classes kind of with them and um, I'm set for registration time so that way when you go to register for your next classes you're already done and you're ready to go and you know exactly what you need to pick um, also I would also this kind of ties back to like organization I would kind of say just when you're writing out, I say write a schedule. If you're writing out a schedule, definitely write down the things that you have to do, extracurricular stuff. So if you're in sports or you have a job outside of school or in school, um, you know, write out the schedule for that that you know you're going to have. And then write out the possible classes that you may want. So when you're registering, you can kind of look at those two schedules and, you know, your desired classes and timings and then your extracurricular your, your jobs and your activities so any of that stuff you can kind of you know put it together and make a set schedule to your liking so that you can have a more comfortable um, semester that's not full of chaos and you know stress um, this past semester was really stressful for me just because I'm trying to you know apply for internships and I was trying to get through the seven classes and it was crazy but I made it through, so if I can do it, you guys, you guys can do it. I took seven classes, doesn't matter how many classes you guys take, you know, just give it your all. Um, always put your 100% into everything. Don't be that one person who, you know, slacks off and, you know, they go into an exam and they don't get the grade that they wanted. Well, surprise, like, if you didn't put that 100% into your stuff, you're obviously not going to get the grade that you wanted. Um, let's say you stay up and you study all night long and you give it your 100% then you know what that result should reflect onto your you know grade but you never know sometimes you know you have to keep learning your different work uh, your study methods and just keep working at it until you really find what's comfortable for you it took me a year I don't feel like high school really um, taught me any like good methods to study for college. I feel like it was a completely different world. So I kind of went into college learning everything by myself, but I really would recommend start looking for that. Are you a visual person? Um, so it, that's that's something you have to figure out by yourself. Um, like I said, I'm a visual person, so I pretty much just found my routine for studying. But I would definitely recommend finding your study methods, um, talking to your advisors, your professors, time management, organization, and the biggest thing I could probably tell you guys is how to remain stress-free throughout your semester just because I know what it's like to have a semester full of stress. That was me this past semester. I was always, I always had a headache. Um, you know, I never felt great about myself just because I felt like I had to put everything into, you know, my schoolwork, which I did. I didn't go out very much, you guys. So if you guys are going to take... Um, a lot of classes, whether it's because you're behind or you want to get ahead, um, I would really recommend finding ways to eliminate your stress. So for me, I started going to the gym regularly. Um, that was just my way to relieve my stress. I would take a jog, go for you know a run, or I would take some of the classes at the gym. Do like you know um, just car every single day cardio really helped me. Um, strength um, training really helped me too. So any kind of workout really just helped relieve my stress. Um, I would also recommend, um, you know, if you like, if, if there's a certain thing that you guys really like to do, I would recommend doing that because it will relieve that stress. For me, I'm a weirdo, so <laughs> for me this past semester it was coloring. So I have like buckets of coloring books and colored pen coloring pencils and um, markers. So I basically just 
took out a whole bunch of like my old coloring books from when I was a kid. Whatever you guys like to do, whether it's singing, dancing, to play a sport, um, you can usually just do that and that will help you relieve your stress. It's so important to find a way to relieve your stress because you know that stress is going to reflect on your grades and the way you perform in your classes and on your exams. So you really want to be able to find the balance between you know schoolwork and you know studying for that and you know being able to balance your health because your ultimately your health is important, especially when you know working through schoolwork. Um, also, one of the biggest things I can tell you is you know keeping a positive attitude because negative attitude can interfere with how you perform in your exams and in your schoolwork. I know that for a while I really kind of went into like this negativity where I was like I can't do it anymore, I just, it's too much for me, this is too much work, I don't know what I was thinking and I really sat down to recollect my thoughts and I realized that you know I really needed to stay positive in order to have positive results. So I really focused on you know thinking positively that I could do it, that I could get through it. So you just have to never give up you guys, just believe in yourselves. Um, trust in your ability and your talent. You guys can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Whether you're taking a million classes or, you know, a couple, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, just put your all into it, and you, you yourself, will be able to know that no matter you know what the result is, you gave it your all. You pretty much did whatever you could. Whether the result is bad or good, you know, if it's a bad result, you can you know work and reflect on what you did wrong and what you can try and change and fix to do a better job next time and if you did well then obviously your methods and your work ethic is working so you know it all depends on you find your work ethic find your um, your time management your organization your schedule and all of that will kind of just come together to you know give you a more um, relaxing semester one that's full of less stress than it needs to be um, so yeah, I'm really excited to share more with you guys. Thank you to everyone who has been sharing my video, liking it, subscribing it. I'm overwhelmed with how much support I'm getting. Uh, so many of you have shared my video and I didn't even know you guys were going to be that supportive. But it's so nice to see that so many people, you know, are, you know, standing beside me and really, you know, going on this journey with me. Um, I have so much more that I, I want to share with you guys, but you know, please drop a comment below and tell me what you guys want to see. I really am open to anything that you guys want um, any material I'm really cool with um, so yeah um, thank you guys again so much don't forget to subscribe like give a thumbs up and share my video um, so yeah this is just some of my advice that I gave you guys in this video you guys don't have to follow my advice if you guys have different you know study methods or work methods that's totally up to you guys this is just for you guys to take and you know make it your own um, this is just kind of work what worked for me and I just wanted to share that with you guys so thanks so much for listening to my <laughs> catastrophic story and for listening to some of my tips. Until next time you guys, 